I have many mixed emotions with this lake. Some uh, definitely ups. That is a beauty. Probably two and a half pounder. And then also some downs. Uh, yeah, it's not going so well, but. <laughs> Seven o'clock. It's been tough, but uh, this lake is one of the first lakes I really fished on my boat um, and actually caught fish on. Uh, but I've had some very successful and then also very unsuccessful days. So today could be completely hit or miss, but it's the time of the year to fish this lake. May, June, and July are probably my favorite times to fish here because you can definitely catch some big bass some big post spawners or even some late spawn females that are gonna be up shallow throw a jig throw a texas rig a worm whatever you can definitely catch some you know three four or five pounders in here so i think that our main goal today is just catch as many fish as we can get some nice solid bass try to get a you know a group of two pounders hopefully get a big fish like a three and a half four i'm here with my uncle today we're loading up the boat right now and then we're gonna drop her off in the water and i will see y'all in a minute Uh, check this out. That is a crappie. That could either be a bad sign or just means nothing at all. It could just be natural or it means that fish are dying. It's the only fish I see along the bank though, so I guess that's a good sign. Well, we're launched. Let's get on the boat and go catch some fish. Yeah, it's definitely a bass. No, he looks like pretty fresh. Huh. Yeah, he doesn't look that. Oh, he's got two scars right here. He's stiff he though. He's one. stiff though. Yeah, but no, he didn't die that long ago though. Today? Yeah, he does. He looks like he's fresh. He looks pretty darn fresh. Huh. Yeah, he's dead though. What's up with that? He's dead. I'm not sure what the hell he happened. Spawned out and... No idea. I think it's my time to throw a worm. See what I can do. Could be. Oh yeah, definitely. Fish. Little guy. Okay, it's a nice fish. Good start. Perfect little hooks up. All right, there y'all go. Nice little one to start the day off with for me. Dave lost one earlier, unfortunately. Oh, you getting a bite? Oh, never mind. What time is it? All right, so about an hour in. One bite and one fish. Not bad, way to start off. Um, hoping that heats up a little bit. Uh, water is around like 74, 75 degrees. Both bites were on uh, rubber worms, so we're thinking that worms are going to be the key. We uh, caught a lot on worms around this time last year too, so not really surprised. Going to try to throw a little top water too, once the uh, the sun starts going down a little bit. So that's it. We're going to keep fishing and hopefully get another one for you guys in a little bit. Wait. What's it? Nice. Good one? Ah, small one. What we got? Oh, jeez. <laughs> what? The whole half of it was down his throat. Oh, man. He's a little guy. But nice looking. Uh, first bass in the boat of the day. <laughs> For me. <laughs> you gotta, they gotta get in the boat. Oh, got one. He hit it like three times. 
Yeah. I finally got him like right at the boat. Nice bass. Yeah, he ate it right Super, at the uh, pale. Pale, that's right. Like white. Yeah. It's kind of swimming it in. Caught that fish on another worm. Got a uh, curly tailed worm right there, just kind of in a uh, purple and blue flake color. Um, I was literally swimming it back to the boat and I felt like two little like uh, ticks. That fish was kind of just nibbling at it as it was probably just nibbling at the tail as I was swimming it in. And I paused it for a second and uh, when I lifted it up it was heavy and yeah, he was there. Very pale, like Dave said. Um, yeah, I guess that fish probably just mostly living in the sand a lot and it's giving him that pale color. So, Let's see if we can get a few more before we head out of here. 6.15, so. It's been a little over an hour since our last uh, our last fish. Let's see another dead fish. He's not even dead yet. I think he's still alive. Nah, uh, maybe he is dead. I don't know. It's weird, man. Why do they all have to hang out back here too? Is he big? Oh my god, he's big. Net, net, net. Yes, yes! <laughs> dude, dude, give me some. Oh my god, that's a giant. Praise God. Yo, he's barely hooked. Look at that hook. He's barely hooked. Look at the hook. Oh my god. It's, if you would have set it harder. That's the fish we're after right there. Dude, oh, that's a big fish. That's a friggin' giant. Look at that. Look I just it. put down the, the uh, I just put down the swim bait and picked up the worm. Yeah, he's uh, she may be on a bed going into. Oh my! We'll get out, but she'll get some air, some water. All right. All right. Scale zeroed out. Three and a half. Yeah. Yeah, that goes four. Three, five, four. I don't know, that's a big fish. I, don't know. I, I think it goes four. <laughs> I think it goes four pounds. Yeah, I thought that would have been four. Yeah. 3.5? So 3.5. She's got a big head. She's a little thin, but she does have a fat belly. She's kind of not like, not too filled out. What's that Beauty spot? Beauty of fish. What's that spot like where the throat is? I don't know what that is, honestly. I've never seen that before. I was like, I was thinking this day was kind of sucking. We only had like just three little dinks catching just some small fish. We were getting bites here and there, but that was about it. it was just, oh, it was, it was big. It was good. Nice three and a half pounder right there. I don't think that's the biggest fish I've caught on the boat. One of the biggest fish though, um, for sure. But ooh, it's a good size one. I think she's, I think she was on a bed too over uh where that way released her in a similar spot so that she can find her way back easily. But yeah, definitely a bed it, late bedding uh, female, just like we caught that one time with you. Well, it's, uh, what time? It's probably about almost 7 o'clock right now, 6.54. Uh, probably maybe fish for another 30, 45 minutes. We'll see how we're feeling if we're getting any bites. And then uh, head out of here, grab some dinner, and call it a night. Get him. Get him. It's a bass. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, so, oh, fish, little guy.
bite size. Oh, uh oh, shoot, jeez. Oh, oh, man. All right, you're good. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you truly enjoyed. I had a blast out on the boat. Um, that catch will definitely be a pretty memorable one. I do believe that was actually the biggest fish I have caught um, on the boat. My uncle actually has broken that with a 4.2 um, at that same lake about this time last year. I'm happy that we were able to get out and uh, actually have a good day on that lake. Like I said, it can be very hit or miss. That's about all I gotta say. Uh, that's really outro and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.